Well, hi there. This is the Cookies Podcast, where the only thing you need to know is the S stands for sports. And we're going to tell you about how what your favorite team needs to do this offseason to be good. To be better, let's say that. Nah, to be good, even though this division was probably the best division in football this year. The Seahawks... Like, you have a cap, you have Russ, you have some good receivers, your line's all right, you got Rashad Penny, but... That's right now. I think you should just blow it up. Trade Russ, trade trade TJ Lockett, blow up your defense that only has one old piece on it, and keep Jamal Adams. Just get rid of Bobby Wagner. Bob Wagner's probably just going to retire at the end of his contract. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's probably right now his career right now. What is it? Quadre Diggs is one of their guys. I think that's their other safety. Good job, guy. Just not Jamal Adams. Is he their only free agent guy? Qua- uh, Rashad Penny. Ah, oh, they're running back. Yeah. I don't know. The, the the Seahawks are in a very odd situation right now. They, I mean, like they seem like they still have all the shit together. Like, if, if Russ stays, it could work. I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it staying together. Though. I don't see the band staying together like that. No, they had a rough, rough year, and Russ is like looking at the window. And he's like, "What's going on over there?" They don't even have a first round pick this year. Oh my god, their first pick's the forty first pick. Whoo! Everyone loves them. A good forty first pick. The, the the Seahawks number one needs an offensive tackle, of course, <laughs> but they don't. They don't draft high enough to get one of the good ones, so they gotta get lucky, I guess, with that. And unless they want to go to free agency and find one, but who knows what the fuck they're gonna do? Go get Cam Robinson. Actually, no, don't. Just trade everyone. Start a rebuild. Yeah, blow it up. Blow up your team. I think you guys are gonna be like third or fourth in your division this year again. Sorry. I think you're gonna be fourth. <laughs> um, let's go Cardinals. They're negative point mil, not even a full mil under cap. But, like, the Cardinals got all that drama. They don't even know if they're going to have their quarterback next year. I think and I think Kyler Murray leaves. The dominoes start falling on that team. You know, people start dipping because why would they want to stay there? Like, let's talk about this. If Kyler Murray leaves, what are the chances Chandler Jones stays? Oh, Chandler Jones is going to be gone. And if Chandler Jones leaves, and then, then what? Who else do they got there in, Car- in there? Zach Ertz, would he stay? Would, would James Conner stay? Would... would um, Chase Edmonds. Chase Edmonds stay. stay. Christian Kirk. Oh, AJ Green. Wow. Are you, are you guys all, is everybody just going to dip D Hop? D Hop and JJ Watt are going to stay there and just be, be the Texans again. <laughs> They're the only ones stuck on a deal. And then they they trade for Deshaun Watson. Oh, my God. Have go. You know what? Go out and trade Kyler Murray for Deshaun Watson. That'd be hilarious. Just, just become the Texans in Arizona. Yeah, you know it's it's hard to play in Arizona. It's hot. It's hot as fuck in Arizona. It is. It's <laughs> quite toasty. And like people, people get mad into the heat, and then they start intensifying things, and then little problems become big problems in organizations. And well, yeah, if your organization calls you a a baby man child, Im- immature, and they want him, to, they, they, they're like, yeah, you're not a very good leader. Be a better leader. <laughs> Wow, that's that's a great leader seminar right there. I'm pretty sure he should be writing all of what they said down. Kyle be Murray, a better leader. Come to Pittsburgh. We'll respect you. We respect everybody for a while at least, unless unless you blatantly don't want to be respected by Pittsburgh. Then we'll respect you. Kyle Murray, <laughs> uh, go be a buck. That'd be neat as well, but you know. We'll see what happens. Then we got we got this. We're gonna wait for the two world champs. We got the 49ers. 49ers, why do you want Tom Brady? Why why are you making this noise? You have Trey Lance. He's nice, he's young, he's fast, he can throw the ball real deep. Like what why? Why why do you want this? They're uh, they're twenty third in cap. They got negative four mil, which is super finugal territory, especially with their head coach. What's the name Kyle Shanahan? You, Kyle Shanahan, yeah. Yeah, dude, he 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 got it. I'm not even worried about the 49ers. I mean, they, they did a nice trade up last season, so they they got they got a little bit of draft picks from that trade, I believe. Yeah. Um. What's the f- they're losing? Um, Tomlinson. What is it, Lakin Tomlinson? I don't even know who that is. Who cares? He's Go get rid of Jimmy G for 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 Chase Young. Do it. That <sighs> that's, that's your best move. I promise you. That'd be a very scary move. Gotta oh say. my god. See so yeah, if somehow you can also get a nice line piece out of it too. You know what? Who who's their backfield? 
Who's who's back? Forty Niners. Who's who's, who's their safeties and corners? Do you know any of them? I can't think of their safeties. You signed Tyler Matthews. Somebody, you guys, figure it out. Go close to the Super Bowl caliber. Just, just, just make that final push. Get Jimmy G like you want to, and get get a guy. Get two guys. Oh my God. And then, then we got our Super Bowl twenty two champs. Honestly, they can basically do whatever they want now. Yeah. As and Aaron Donald said, he's gonna retire unless they bring back his guys. And they got they got negative twenty one million, which makes them 29th worst. It's it's not like it, it sounds way bad than it is, but like they, they they're gonna just go on again. <laughs> Honestly, they could probably get some people and just be like, "Hey, you want to play for cheaper this year because we can win a Super Bowl?" And they'll be like, "Sure, I'll okay. I'll lose an extra million this year." And then the year after that, or the year or the year after that, they're gonna be nothing. Uh, probably. Scorched Earth is coming, baby, but it's going to take a while. That's why Sean McVay almost retired, because he was like, it's going to be Scorched Earth after we're done here. I'm just going to retire when it's over. Yeah, the youngest coach in the league is just like, I'm done. Him and Aaron Arnold both were like, we might retire. And then they're like, no, guys, stop it. We just won a Super Bowl. Don't talk about retiring already. Just come run it back right quick. One more time. If they win it back to back, then they both retire, and then they leave. I honestly think the 49ers win this division next year. I, I, don't, I mean, the Rams are cool and all, and they're a super team and everything, but, like, the 49ers have proven to be one of the teams that could beat them. I mean, they did it in the NFC Championship when it mattered. I understand that. But, like, they got your number in the regular season so far, and they're just going to get better and better, and you guys are going to try to just improve what you have. That's the difference. Is their young town that's going to get way better. Yeah, I think the Rams win this division because I think they bring all the people back, and then they're coming with that Super Bowl champion energy. Yeah, how'd that work out for the Bucks? <laughs> uh, a B went crazy and he danced away. Uh, who do you, who do you think is gonna win the division, guys? Let us know. 